Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for clicking in on the video. Today's video is a tutorial using the Hip Dot palette, the Cenote uh, pressed eyeshadow palette. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is what the palette looks like. And when you open it up, take the plastic out, these are the shades. These colors really speak to me. I get a lot of inspiration from this palette. I really today want to use some of these blues and greens. I can't wait. I'm going to use uh, this shade here as a transition shade. And then I'm going to dust a little of, I believe, this medium tone brown in the crease. But along the lash line, upper and lower, I'm going to use some of these blues and greens. So that's what today's video is. It's going to be a tutorial using the Hip Dot Cenote palette. Um, I will link it down below as well as the makeup I'm currently wearing. I do have my brows done and I have my face and lips done and just the eyes. Um, I do have a little bit of mascara on, but I'm going to add another coat after I finish the tutorial on the eyes. So let's get started. So I've got my brushes laid out. So the first brush I'm going to use is this one here. This is a Nabla brush, the N306. It's um, just a fluffy tapered blending brush. So, um, and I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the mirror in this palette. It's a really a good size mirror. So, and I'm going to pick up the shade Bedrock, which is this shade right here. Dust my brows out of the way. And so I'm going to just put that right in the crease. Dust it all over. Um, starting out in the natural crease and then bringing it up to the upper lid because I do have a hooded eye. So I do have to bring the crease up a little and create a new crease up a little higher. Now the next eye. Again, starting in the natural crease and bringing it up. I also dust some on the lid as well. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that brush and have it handy so that when I'm doing the crease, I can buff out uh, the shade in the crease. So now I'm going to go into my Morphe brush set here. I got it. It's a set of five that I got, and I'm going to use three of them for the rest of this look. So this one is just a, a little bit smaller tapered brush. I'm going to use this to buff some that medium tone brown right there on the lid, just a little. I don't want it too dark, just enough to just darken that crease. And I'm not gonna bring it down and create that outer V because I want the blues and the greens to really be the show here. I really want those blues and greens to be the focus. Okay, then I'm going to go back into that Nabla brush that has the transition shade, and I'm just buffing that out, making it, as I always say, very gradient. Now I'm going to go into the next eye. And again, I'm not doing an outer V on this look. I'm just actually darkening up that crease. And then bringing it up. because now the blues and the greens are the ones taking center stage. Taking my Nabla brush and buffing that out so it's gradient. Okay, now I'm gonna go in 
with this little brush. This is a, a, a slanted eyeliner brush by Morphe, part of that same five piece set. And the color that I'm gonna go into to start is Spirit. And I know it's a matte, but I'm gonna lay down a base um, of color along the lash line. Now, I normally don't put liner, but where this isn't black or brown and it's a shade of blue, I wanted to test this out. So I'm gonna go in, knock off the extra, and right get at the very base of those lashes and then just buff it and I'm not going to do a wing because my wings you're not going to be able to see because of the hood so I really want to just buff that pretty matte teal blue shade can you see that am I covering the mirror I'm so sorry Okay, do you see that? Now I'm gonna clean off my brush and this time I'm going in with a lighter shimmery shade. And I'm gonna go in with something with this shade called Goddess right there, which is a nice shimmery shade. And I'm gonna lay down right on top of that, right along with that matte shade and I'm just going to lay down some shimmer right on top of that and I'm sort of building up the shade in my on my lid but I want to see the gradation I want to see that one color to the next okay do you see that okay and then I'm going in with the lighter, another another shade that's even lighter. And this one here is called um, Rain, this one right here. And I'm going to mix it with a little melt water, which is this shade right here. I'm going to sort of mix those two together. And again, just lining right on top of that. And then I'm going to take some more of that shade called Rain. And just dust that right on top to really make that shine. Got a little fallout from there. Can you see that? That's the look that I'm going for. Okay. And then I'm going to take some more of that rain and bring it up even higher. Okay. There you go. I'm going to actually go back into Spirit which is this medium toned matte, sort of bluish green. And although I'm not doing a wing, I am gonna bring it up a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with Goddess. And then 
melt water right on top. And then of course, rain the lightest shade on top of that. Okay, and then what I wanna do is take a little brush and this is just an SL Miss Glam round blush. They call it a blush brush, P40. To me, that's too small and too dense of a blush brush, but I'm trying to get that. Um, let me see here. Let me try and... Clean that up a little bit. Okay, can you see that? So that's the look I'm going for. And again, I'm going back into rain and I'm really bringing that up higher. In fact, I'm gonna go in with my little Morphe tapered and pick that up and then just Bring that up. There we go. And that's the, the finished look on the eye. Now I'm going to go in with my slanted liner brush and we're going to do this eye. I will say the only thing that's a problem with this is the fallout. It's not terrible, but it does get on the skin and stain it. So I think what I'm going to do when I'm done with the eye look is I will put some mascara on and clean it up and then come back for final thoughts on the, on the palette. All right, then again, I'm going in with my little tapered brush, picking up some of that rain shade and really dusting in that to extend that lid up. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the brush that had the transition shade and just kind of blend. Okay, so then underneath the eyes, I'm not going to do the spirit, but I am going to do melt water, this shade right here, all under the eye. So... And then I want to bring it up like this to match the liner, okay? There we go. Okay, so that's the eye look. I'm gonna go and clean up around the eyes, put on some mascara, um, and I will be right back for final thoughts. Okay, so I am back. Now, let's talk about my final thoughts. So this palette, as I said, really inspired me. Um, the next time I use this, I want to use some of these other shades in here, too, that um, are just so gorgeous in this palette. Um, let's do some swatch, some quick swatches of several of the colors. Now, you've seen it. This is the finished look. 
let's start with some of the colors I didn't use. So let's go into Ojo's. Yeah, see, these are nice and soft too. I'll just put some on the back of my hand. This gorgeous limestone. Oh, I can't wait to use that on the lid. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Okay, Maya. It's this really pretty blue, like a periwinkle blue. Then we'll use the shade. Let's use Ancient, which is a, a shimmery royal blue. There you go. Look at how stunning. And look at my fingers after swatching. So that shows you that the pigmentation on these is really good. So uh, as I said, my only complaint on these is the fallout. I had to actually clean up all around under the eyes. And then I had to add a little more concealer and powder on there just to clean that area up because I had so much fall down. And I tapped my brush off. So um, obviously for this video, I had to have uh, my, my other makeup on, but when you're applying it yourself, do your eyes first. So when you clean up, you're not messing with the complexion that you've perfected. So yeah, so I will link this, this palette below. I think this is a great palette. It's called, again, the Cenote, C-E-N-O-T-E, Cenote palette. Um, the blues inspired me so much. And I thought I would play around and just do this look. I find that I don't look terrific with blues on the crease, but lining the eyes with different shades and then going in with that lighter shade, I think it makes for such a pretty look. I love a little blue around the eyes. All right, so that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button. Let me know that you like this video and leave me a comment with for some videos you'd like to see me upload in 2021. I would love to hear your suggestions. And hit the notification bell so you're advised of all my future uploads. With that, this is the end of our video today. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.